Hey everybody, I want to get some basic travel tips today. At first I was just going to um, make a smoothie and talk about health, but then I thought, well let me give a few more pointers. Okay, so I have this bag for when I go um, into a hostel or in a bathroom because it's got the hanger. So when you stay in a hostel, which is a room sharing with other people, this is really good to have because sometimes um, there'll be a place in the shower or bathroom where you can hang this up. And what I have in here is um, like my soap and my razors. And then in here, I keep my vitamins. It used to be coconut water, but I've got um, multi uh, women's and then cinnamon. Cinnamon is very good uh, for sugar problems. Okay, brush, deodorant, toothpaste, sun. Um, I keep all my liquids in here so when the airport um, wants to scan, I can have all my liquids together, but the cool thing about this is I'm paying for check-in bags right now, so I don't even have to worry about the scanner because my check-in bags have all my liquids. So that's good. I wanted to share that with you. And then I do my makeup separate. Now last year when I left, I decided I wasn't my last missions trip was 14 months and when I left America I decided not to even wear makeup and it wasn't until I got to Melbourne Australia in January of this year I was like I think I want to wear makeup again you know it's different because I'm going back I was going to America the next month so I keep my makeup in there and right now I'm getting a really good tan so I, uh, I'm not wearing it, but let me put this down here. Okay, so those are two things. Now, it's very important um, to stay hydrated, especially if you travel on the plane a lot. Um, it's very good to drink water before you go on the plane and right after because when you hit those high high altitudes, that's when you can get dehydrated and vitamin C is even good as well for that. But, um, you know, it's summer, so I try to um, go to the store. Now, there's places in Italy where you can fill this up on the streets for free, I've noticed that. So I try to get free water as much as possible. If the sink water is not disgusting, I'll drink it. But the restaurant will sell this for two euros, okay? But if you take the time to find the grocery store, this is 38 euros. So it's not even 50 cents in, in USA. So that's two liters, which is good. And you need about two liters a day to keep you hydrated. So I notice sometimes that I'll just be going, 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 and I'll forget my vitamins, I'll forget, uh, and I'll start feeling bad, and I'll go, okay, self-check, what's going on? Oh, I'm not eating so good, I'm, I'm having too much sugar, you know, because a lot of times um, the cheap things are what's fattening. I mean, even in America, the fast food is like, like a dollar. So if you don't have much money and you got to pay uh, you got to pay for your room, you got to pay for your buses, and then you only have a little bit of money left over, it's easier just to say, okay, give me that dollar piece of pizza. I'm in Naples, uh, Italy right now, and it's the home of the pizza. So, man, I wake up smelling pizza everywhere I walk. Uh, there's pizza, pizza, pizza. Even yesterday when I bought my bus ticket to the airport, because I'm going to Switzerland Thursday, I made a joke with the guy at the bus station and I said, uh, 
all you guys do is uh, sell pizza around here. Just kind of joking. The man behind me wanted to know where he could buy some pizza. So he was thinking pizza. It, it was just kind of funny. So anyway, um, I like Greek yogurt. I like spinach. Now, I've had to develop the taste um, for spinach. Um, 2014, I went to 21 countries and 20 states in that year. You think, oh, well, that's a big year. Well, yeah, but then 2015 came and I went uh, 25 countries. Now, some of those countries I went to two, three, four times, okay? So it wasn't like I just went to 25 countries. No, I went to Thailand several times. I went to Sweden several times. I went to the UK several times. And they, you know, kicked me out, didn't let me stay. And then, uh, so I was all over the map last year. And when you travel that much, it wears your body down. So um, in October last year, I was in Perth, Australia. And a street preacher uh, posted a video of smoothies. And I thought, man, that looks good. Good idea. Let me try this once to see if I like it. And I tell you, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't just about, I want to try something new. It's, I need to feel better. I need to be healthy. I'm going to have a breakdown physically if I do not bring some change into my life. So my first week back into America, my friend Sherry took me in Tampa to the vitamin store and bought me $200 worth of vitamins and, and just all kinds of stuff. God bless her. And so I've been talking to her about health too. But I started uh, smoothies, and the lady I was staying with in Perth, she gave me her blender. I took it to Cambodia, lost a piece of my blender. Um, I lost the lid somehow in Cambodia, and I think the people cleaning the hostel uh, threw it away, is what I think. So then I, I went to Vietnam next, and I'm like, I'm going to take care of my health. Well, the blender there cost, it cost some money. And I, I kept that with me. I was still working on my health. And then I went all the way to all, uh, other parts of Australia, Indonesia with that blender. And um, then it ended up in New Zealand. And there, because I was on my way back to America, within the next few weeks and was not going to use check-in bags, I gave my blender to a lady to get to Salvation Army. So I got back to America. I had already purchased through Amazon a new blender. So I went to 27 states in America in my car in one flight and then Costa Rica. I did a lot of blending in Costa Rica. And uh, I did a, a lot of fasting. I did like, I think, nine days of fasting of just, you know, health food. So then, um, oh, the pineapple is amazing over in Costa Rica. So then I decided I was not going to use check-in bags. My first three um, planes you know, leaving Chattanooga to New York to Bergen. And then I was like, oh, I have got to check in bags. So I ended up uh, taking care of all my check in bags after that, all the way till I think September, and went ahead and purchased a blender. I think it was like 15 US dollars. So that's worth it, people. I'm not going to sit up in here and eat uh, pizza every single day in Naples. You know, it's good. Don't get me wrong. But um, this is going to help me um, stay healthy. And if you can 
in a place while you're traveling that has a refrigerator. You know, a lot of hostels have refrigerators. Most hotels don't. I'm in a cheap ghetto hostel, uh, hotel right now. I think it's 33 American dollars with breakfast. So, thank God they had a um, refrigerator on the first floor. So, I put my stuff in there and I was like, what do I do? There's no knife. So yesterday I was like, how do I get this into here? So I was like, should I throw it down and wash it off? And then I was like, no. How smart is that? <laughs> so I'm going to chew all that off. And uh, let me tell you something. There is fiber in here. They say an apple, I don't know who said it, but they did. They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Mmm. Man, I can taste the sugar in that. It's so good. Much full of fiber. The only time I've ever had to go to the doctor on the mission field was Indonesia. And I had laryngitis last year. Because I went from Vietnam to Singapore, slept in Singapore airport, to Indonesia, got to Indonesia. The airport was very, very cold. When I got to Indonesia, everybody was smoking. And a lot of people smoke in Italy too, and I just try to avoid them. It's like I can go uh, get my morning uh, breakfast coffee and croissant, and they'll say, where do you want to eat it? And at first they'll say, oh, right here. And then I'll see somebody smoking. And then I'll go, well, let me go outside. And there'll be somebody outside smoking. And it's like, I don't want to be around cigarettes. They're horrible. They're cancer sticks. I don't want to smell either. Especially if you just used your lemon soap and you smell. I smell amazing from the lemon soap I just bought. Praise God. So that's how I roll. Um, putting the Greek yogurt, I like Greek yogurt because it's thicker. And it's got the strawberry and the berries in there. And the berries are very good in uh, vitamin D. I mean, not vitamin D, that's the sunshine. Vitamin B. So I put that in there and then my spinach. And I'll pile the spinach in there. And then when I'm done, I just drink it. And then after I drink it, I take my vitamins with lots of water. And that can be a meal replacement. So that's just a tip on traveling. Um, I'm going to Switzerland in a couple of days. I'm so excited. And I'll be preaching uh, immediately my first day there. Humongous outreach. Um, there's supposed to be 48,000 people at this outdoor concert. I don't want to give any more details than that until it's over. But it's going to be amazing. I've been preparing and getting ready for this. And I'm just ready to storm Switzerland. I mean, just preach the gospel. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> God bless you. The smoothie is now ready, and I want to show you where I put my groceries. Okay, here's my last tip. I bought this for about $10, and it is made to keep food cool. So I bought this, and I put my groceries in there, because when you go to the grocery store, you usually have to buy a bag anyway. So I use this as my bag, to purchase food then stick it in there and then stick this just stick the whole thing in um, uh, the refrigerator so everybody will know it's yours and then you want to lock it up you know keep your food locked because people will steal food I'm serious so that's how I roll and when I travel uh, on the plane I just stick this in there stick my preaching backpack in there 
and then I use the lock for this. And I love this bag because it can be washed and it's also very light. Okay, so I use it on top of this and this has uh, wheels for my laptop. So put this bag on this and then I just roll it through the airport. It's kind of big, but I like it. It's flexible. You can get like more stuff in there if I had to. But when I went on the trip the other day to preach in the other cities, I knew there would be a lot of steps. So the hotel I'm staying in was the hotel I stayed in before in Naples. So I had them watch my bag <coughs> and I only took half the stuff and um, like I stuffed it in here, stuffed in there and then my backpack. And then I went and then when I got back, they already had my bag in my room. So these are travel tips. Hope it's not too long. Maybe somebody needed to, to know. Yeah, it's how I roll.